My name is Lizzie Atkinson, and today I am going to talk about antimitotic agents for cancer treatment. Cancer is a group of over 100 different diseases categorized by rapid growth and development. Antimitotic agents, also called mitotic inhibitors, interfere with a cell's ability to divide properly. They affect the microtubules, which are the main component of cellular structure. Microtubules are the component of the cell that pulls apart when division should occur. There are two main types of antimitotic agents used to treat cancer, taxanes and vinca alkaloids. They are developed from natural products and through different mechanisms cause cell death. Mitosis is a normal process that all cells must use to sustain life. Simply put, it is the type of cell division that results in two daughter cells, each having the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent cell. The cell cycle contains multiple checkpoints, which ensure correct transmission of genetic information. They screen the chromosomes for abnormalities and must be passed before moving on to the next stage of mitosis. If errors are found, mitosis is stopped and apoptosis, or programmed cell death, occurs. Antimitotic agents work by inhibiting the function of microtubules either by stopping their ability to grow or the binding of their subunits. Microtubules are polymers made from alpha and beta tubulin, two proteins. They are important in cell transport, movement, phagocytosis, and spindle formation during cytokinesis. Normally, microtubules are formed as the cell starts dividing during mitosis, then are broken down and destroyed when division has ceased. Cancerous cells and tumors are characterized by their rapid cell division. These cancer cells are not controlled like normal cells, which stop dividing when they come into contact with other like cells. There are three treatment options for cancer, surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy, including antimitotic agents. These chemotherapy drugs are dependent upon their ability to stop this cell division. Since the microtubules of these cells can either not be assembled or disassembled, they die. Taxanes were the first microtubule inhibiting drug. They were isolated in the 1970s from the bark of the Pacific yew tree. Taxanes work by encouraging the formation of microtubules, but then stop them from being disassembled during mitosis. This causes the cells to become extremely clogged with microtubules so they cannot grow or divide. Then cell death by apoptosis must occur. Paclitaxel, also called Taxol, brand name Abraxane, was the first antimitotic drug. Isolated from the bark of the Pacific yew tree, the process of doing so only yields a small amount of the medicine and is expensive. It is used to treat ovarian cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, melanoma, and esophageal cancers. The side effects include bone marrow loss, hypersensitivity, muscle aches, hair brittleness and loss, and peripheral neuropathy, among others. Docetaxel is a semi-synthetic form of taxol. It is isolated from the twigs and needles of the Himalayan yew tree and was done so as a result of the small yield and expensive process of gathering paclitaxel. It was approved by the FDA in 1995. It is also known for being twice as potent as paclitaxel due to the drug's effect on the centrosome of the mitotic spindle. It is used to treat breast, head and neck, gastric, some prostates, and ovarian cancers. The side effects are more severe but shorter lived than paclitaxel. Vinca alkaloids are another large group of antimitotic agents. They work in the opposite way of taxanes in that they bind to the beta tubulin subunit, blocking their ability to form microtubules. The cell cycle stops in metaphase because there is no mitotic spindle formed. Therefore, duplicated chromosomes cannot align along the division plate. Then, apoptosis must occur. They are all derived from the Madagascar periwinkle plant, and there are four major vinca alkaloids in clinical use. is venblastine, which works by inhibiting angiogenesis, or the process of growing new blood cells from pre-existing ones. This is normally an essential step for a tumor to become malignant. 
It is used to treat Hodgkin disease, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, breast cancer, bladder and testicular cancers. The side effects are toxicity to white blood cells, chest pain and tumor, dyspnea, and GI disturbances. Vancristine is one of the most powerful Vinca alkaloids. It has a high affinity for tubulin dimers. These dimers are places on a microtubule that are only two amino acids long. The vancristine molecule moves back and forth, attaching to just one of these amino acids at a time, keeping them poisoned or unable to reassemble into a protein. It is used to treat leukemia, neuroblastoma, Hodgkin's disease, and other lymphomas. The side effects are peripheral neuropathy, suppression of bone marrow activity, and nervous system to toxicity. Venorelbine works like venblastine to inhibit angiogenesis. It is especially beneficial in breast cancer and osteosarcomas, or bone tumor cells. Interestingly, it has also shown to decrease lipid bilayer stability. The side effects are a decrease in infection resistance, bruising or bleeding, anemia, and peripheral neuropathy. Vendazine also works similarly to venblastine. It is used to treat melanoma, lung cancers, breast cancers, and uterine cancers when combined with other drugs. The side effects are immunodeficiency, anemia, myalgia, peripheral neuropathy, ulcers, and GI disturbances. Epothalones are a newer class of antimitotic agents. Like taxanes, they kill cancerous cells by stopping their ability to divide. Early trials have shown better efficacy and milder side effects than taxanes. Several of these drugs are currently undergoing clinical trials for various cancers. Exempra was approved to treat aggressive metastatic breast cancer that is no longer responding to other chemotherapy treatments in 2007. Estramistine is another microtubule inhibiting cancer agent used to treat metastatic and progressive prostate cancers in the United States. It is derived from the hormone estrogen. It works by depolymerizing the microtubules and it is selectively taken up by prostate cells, keeping healthy cells minimally exposed. Antimitotic agents have been known to work well in the treatment of many types of cancers. However, there are some major drawbacks to using them. The side effects can be debilitating. Therapy is known to target rapidly dividing cells, which include cancer cells, but also hair and GI cells. This results in severe nausea and hair loss in many patients. It is also known to affect the nails, like in the picture to the right. This woman is wearing wine coolers and oven mitts on her hands and feet to keep her nails from degenerating due to the docetaxel treatment she is receiving. Another common side effect seen in almost all of these drugs is peripheral neuropathy. This is when the nerves that carry information to and from the brain and spinal cord do not work properly. It can cause many problems, including severe fatigue. Toxicity is also a problem due to the heavy concentration of microtubules throughout the brain. It can lead to severe neurotoxicity. Another significant problem with mitotic inhibitors is the ability to develop resistance. In taxanes, beta tubulin mutations can cause the drugs to become less effective. Resistance in the VCA alkaloids is due to the structural similarity of the four compounds. These drugs are expensive and must be administered in large amounts all at once due to the fact that most of the drug is excreted from the body during the process. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.